Let me just tell you. Uh, let me touch you here. Where's your husband? Because I don't see any men here. <laughs> I'm not married. Yeah. I don't see any men here. But sometimes people, they don't get married because, not because of an attack, but because of their dreams. You find that always somebody's coming, want to marry you. When you look at that person, it's not, you, you know. Eh? I have a partner that I live with. We have a child, two years. Ah. Do you hear what I'm trying to say? Yes, I said they people, do. they don't get married sometimes because of they look at the people. So, this one, that one. And you go and choose this one who will never marry you. Because you don't pray. Can you see that? You're not praying. You're just looking at the person and saying, this one, I... And this one is the one who will marry you and stay with you. But you go and choose someone who will never. Now you're telling me about partners. Partners in what? Eh? You're doing partnering of? Relationship. What about marriage? There's nothing called partnering of relationship. The issue of choosing a husband is very bad to every woman. Because you are influenced by friends, you are influenced by circumstances, you are influenced by what they have, you are influenced by where your background, you are influenced by everything. It's not easy, but if you pray, you understand? If you pray, God will work and open doors for you. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? Amen. Yeah. In the process like what you are facing now, because here, yeah, this man can marry you. How will you marry if, when you bring money to home, you eat it? How will you marry if, you hear what I'm trying to say? That's true. Hey, what is true now? What you're saying. What I'm saying is true. Yes. So if you bring money like this, now you are eating the same money, what will happen? This man need grace. You understand? Amen. Praying for you, we are opening door for you. So that you do what? You get married. You get married. It will happen in Jesus' name. <laughs> Father, remember that man and honor him. Honor him in Jesus' name. Honor my sister in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Rise up. Rise up, sister. Rise up. Let me say it again. This is what happened. Now, I know, I know marriage is very difficult to marry. And stay with a person is not easy. But it is easy to stay with a person without marriage. It's very easy. But to, why? Because you are fighting enemies. I'm sure that's what I'm going to say. You are fighting enemies. They don't want to see this. So, when your husband come and bring this 5,000 like this, you destroy it. That's true. What is true? We eat it. Huh? We eat the 5,000. Huh? We eat the money. The what? The money. We How eat much? It. Don't it. say it. Okay. God bless you. It will increase. So for your husband to marry, go there. For your husband to marry you, you understand? When this 5,000 comes, you save it. So God must give him extras. You give us a testimony. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Juliet. The man of God located me and asked, spoke about challenges in regards to marriage. I'm not married. And he said that I will give a testimony that I'll get married. My challenge is currently is that I'm, um, I'm going through unemployment and as well my partner is also not employed at the moment. But I believe that God would do something great. Wow, um, I'm 29 years now. I will say from the time I was 24. Yes. Yes. And what do you believe God is 
I believe that God has located me and God has answered my prayers in regards to marriage. And I'll come back with a testimony. Viewers that are watching, please trust in God. Believe in God. Just fix your eyes on God. He will come through for you. It's just a matter of time.